Imagine biting into a juicy chicken breast stuffed with creamy, cheesy spinach. Sounds tempting, right? Today we're going to explore how to create this culinary delight, a dish that's not just delicious but also keto-friendly. Let's talk about cheesy spinach stuffed chicken breast. It's a dish that combines the succulent flavors of chicken with the richness of cheese and the nutritional benefits of spinach. It's a meal that promises satisfaction to your taste buds, and yet it's perfectly aligned with the principles of a keto diet. The key to making this dish shine is using high-quality, keto-friendly ingredients. Choose a chicken breast that's fresh, meaty, and organic if possible. As for the cheese, Go for a full-fat variety, which is not only flavorful but also provides the high-fat content required for a keto diet. Fresh spinach is a must and don't forget the cream cheese, which gives our stuffing that delightful creaminess. Now let's get down to the cooking. Start by preparing the stuffing. Saute some finely chopped garlic and onion until they're soft and fragrant. Then add the spinach and cook until it wilts. Mix in the cream cheese and other cheese of your choice until it all melds into a creamy mixture. Season it with salt and pepper and your stuffing is ready. Next, it's time to stuff the chicken. Cut a pocket into each chicken breast, being careful not to cut all the way through. Spoon the cheesy spinach mixture into the pocket and then secure it with toothpicks to keep the stuffing from spilling out during baking. Finally, bake the stuffed chicken breasts in a preheated oven. The result, a golden brown chicken breast oozing with a creamy, cheesy spinach stuffing. The chicken is tender, the stuffing is rich and creamy, and every bite is a flavor explosion. There you have it, a mouth-watering, keto-friendly dish that's both satisfying and nutritious. This cheesy spinach stuffed chicken breast is sure to become a favorite in your keto recipe repertoire. So, what are you waiting for? Try it and let the flavors speak for themselves. Craving for some fried rice but worried about carbs? Worry not because we have the perfect solution, cauliflower fried rice. Now you might be thinking, how can fried rice be low-carb and keto-friendly? The answer lies in our star ingredient, cauliflower. This versatile vegetable is a fantastic substitute for rice in our dish. It's not only low in carbs but also packed with essential nutrients, making it a great choice for a healthy, balanced diet. So how do we transform this humble vegetable into a convincing rice substitute? The key is in the preparation. We start by chopping the cauliflower into small pieces, then pulsing it in a food processor until it resembles grains of rice. It's a simple process, but it's crucial to achieving the right texture for our dish. Remember, we're not aiming for cauliflower puree here. We want those little grain-like pieces that will mimic the feel of rice in our mouth. Now let's get cooking. The magic happens in the stir-frying process. We heat up some oil in a pan, then add the cauliflower, rice. This is where we need to be patient. Stir-frying the cauliflower helps to remove the excess moisture and gives it a nice, slightly crispy texture. It's all about getting that perfect balance between tenderness and crunch. Once our cauliflower is nicely cooked, it's time for the fun part, adding the other ingredients. This is where you can let your culinary creativity shine. You can stick to traditional fried rice ingredients like peas, carrots, and scrambled eggs, or you can mix things up with some bacon, shrimp, or even some diced chicken. The choice is yours. But no matter what you choose to add, remember to season your dish well. A little soy sauce or tamari for that umami flavor, some salt and pepper to taste, and perhaps a sprinkle of sesame seeds for a bit of crunch. And voila! A low-carb, keto-friendly version of your favorite fried rice is ready to be savored. Enjoy this guilt-free and delicious twist on a classic dish. Who knew eating healthy could taste so good?